Welcome back, everybody, to Delta Math Concept. What we're looking at today is a Triggs question, and it is a 2014 question 10. As you could see here, we want to dissect it and see what goes on. So let's go. All right, let's go. So it says the diagram below, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a quadrilateral QRST in which QS is seven. All right, QS is seven. So we have, I'm just going to highlight those. QS is seven. Um, ST is 10. ST is 10. Um, QT is eight right there. And then the angle, the angle SRQ, SRQ right here, um, that is 60 degrees. And the angle RQS right here is 48 degrees. So we got all of those, right? So we got a lot, of, a lot of information there. And then the question now reads. So the question says, calculate one, the length RS. So I wanna calculate the length of RS. So let's identify RS. So RS is actually this side right here. RS is this side along here. We wanna find that length, that distance right there. All right, basically when you look at this, um, you definitely see that this side that they're asking us is opposite to the angle at 48. And then in the same case, they gave us 60 degrees and gave us the side opposite to it. So I'm going to employ the sign rule for that one. The sign rule, I, so I could say using A over the sign of A, equal to B over the sine of B. So I'm going to employ that strategy, that um, concept now as we go forward. So we're looking at seven over the sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to RS over the sine of 48 degrees. So here the sine rule comes into play a lot. Um, you could cross multiply quickly if you want. So yeah, we could cross multiply. So we're gonna employ a little cross multiplication there. So basically seven sine 48 is equal to RS times the sine of 60 degrees. Remember the intention is to find RS. So I'm gonna highlight RS. That's what we wanna find, which means that we're gonna divide by the sine of 60 degrees, both sides by the sine of 60 degrees. All right, let's go. So normally what I do, I work out what is on top. So I'm gonna work out seven sine 48, all right? Make sure that the calculator is in degree. So I have 5.2020. And this is gonna be over the sine of 60 degrees, which is 0 0.8660, all right? So we have all of those information there. And this, if when we divide this, we should get RS. So let us 6.00. So the response is that RS is equal to six centimeters. All right. All right. So we have so we have that. So normally what I do is just to put on my labeling there. All right. 6.06 6 centimeters. All right. So that's one, that's one piece of the action being gone. The next question says, um, so the next question, let's blow it up right here. It says, calculate the measure right here, the measure of, here it is, the measure of the angle QTS. All right, so the measure of the angle QTS. So we're going back to this triangle here. I'm going to mark the angle, so the measure of QTS following the three letters, all right? So we're following the three letters, Q to T to S. I'm seeing right here would be that angle right there. That's the angle that we intend to find. Now, when you look at this idea though, so we wanna find that angle right here, all right? So when you look at the this in question, you definitely realize that this angle that you are trying to find is between two sides. And we definitely got the side across from that angle. So definitely we're gonna be employing the, the, um, the cosine rule, right? So we're gonna be using the cosine rule right there to get us out, right? So the cosine rule. So the cosine rule says, remember that 
the angle, we start by saying the, uh, the side across from the angle square. So seven square is equal to um, eight square plus 10 square minus two times eight times 10. And that angle, I'm just gonna call it theta for now, that we insert off, right? So we're looking at 49, which is equal to 64, plus 10 square is 100. And then this is gonna give me minus 160 cos of the angle, all right? So when I put the negative um, two times eight times 10, I'll get this piece here. So let's finally put it together again. So 164 minus cos 160. Um, so we have 49 is equal to 164 minus 160 cos of the angle. All right, good. So what we're gonna do now is simply subtract this, uh, the 164 from both sides. So we wanna do that. So we're subtracting 164, subtracting 164 from both sides right there. And then we'll see what we have. All right, so let us go. Uh, 49 minus 164, I'm getting 115 here. So it's negative 115 and that is gonna equal to negative 160 cos of uh, there, all right? Because this part is going to cancel out, all right? All right, let's, 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 let's have a, a better visual of what we have there. Now, at this time, all we have to do is to divide both sides by negative 160. So we're dividing by negative 160 here. So what do we have? Negative 115 divided by negative 160, and we will have... 0.7188, which is equal to the cost of the angle. So in finding the angle itself now, what we're gonna do is gonna use that inverse, right? So we use the inverse cost, 0.788, and that will give us the angle, QTS. Let's see what we get. So we're gonna go inverse cost, 0.7188, and this is gonna give us um, 44.04. That's the angle Q, T, S. All right, all right, very good, very good. All right, so in this case you saw, we just employed um, the, the sine rule and the cosine rule to help us to solve this trick problem, all right? All right, enjoy the rest of your day, um, please like, subscribe and share Delimas concepts. See you, bye-bye.